welcome back. In today's episode, my girlfriend had the brilliant idea to film some content. So I was like, I've been wanting to paint my brake calipers. As a challenge to her, I wanna show her how to do this. And by the way, we're plastic dipping them just because I changed the wrap up so much. I don't wanna do permanent yet, like powder coating and all that. Plastic dip, you could easily remove it. You could even wrap calipers with high temperature things. But I remember I plastic dipped my old Corvette with uh, plastic dip and it actually looked amazing. I even set up a little shade for her because she doesn't believe me that it's gonna get super hot. Step one, got the jack and jack stands. And to make it a lot easier, you're gonna take off all four wheels so you don't have to do one side at a time since we have all four jack stands. We might as well just take off all four wheels. So grab the jack and let's start jacking it up. Since my car comes with the upgraded Harman Karma sound system, it didn't come with the tire repair kit. Usually a lot of cars have the spare tire right here, but obviously we don't. So it doesn't come with one of these. And the one from Janelli's car doesn't fit on the wheel. So now we gotta go look and try to find one of these to see if we can uh, find one that fits. So this is officially gonna be attempt number five. We've encountered problem after problem just trying to paint these calipers. The very first problem was obviously I wanted to paint them red. They only had white plastic dip at the store, so we had to do that. Second problem when Janelle was trying to help me out, we didn't have a lug nut to take off the actual rims. So we couldn't do it then. The days that we tried to do it, once we found the lug nut, it got super hot and then Janelle uh, wasn't feeling too well. And so she's gonna be helping me out still, but she doesn't wanna be on camera because like she says, she's looking ratchet, but that's fine. She's still gonna help me out in the background. I, I'm not gonna try to film her too much, but she's gonna be doing most of the work. I just found out another problem, but now it looks like we're missing one. So, what seemed to be a very easy job, now it got a little bit more complicated, but we're gonna get through this. I don't want Janelli to do much of the heavy lifting, so I'm gonna take off the wheels. Oh my God. They're almost bald. Looks like we're gonna have to get new tires. All the wheels are off. Car's fully on jack stands. The major part, to plastic dipping like the car, whether it's the brakes or just the car in general, is prep. So I cleaned the floor and something major key that I learned is to be a tiny bit OCD. So as you can tell, we got all our tools, all our uh, plastic dip, just make sure everything is organized because it's a major pain in the ass when you have to look for uh, like that jack stand. I couldn't find it, now I found it. As my idol, it's Fonzie with dipyourcar.com once said, prep work is key. So we got this cleaning solution. We're gonna be making sure the brakes are absolutely spotless. This is now day six. Yesterday, I had to go to work, so I couldn't finish the job. So now the car has been completely left alone. We're back here. We might finish it today, maybe, don't know. Hopefully we can finish it. So I did a bad job in cleaning it. So this is the problem when you have a brother that's a detailer. It's very nitpicky. He's saying the way I cleaned the brakes was actually a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Gio. Do you really think I'm only gonna do the front? Yeah, because you touch the back of your caliper and it's hella dirty. Let Help. me see your finger. <laughs> what? Why are you hating on my prep work? All right, clean it, boys. Well, this was an idea that was supposed to be a quick, like, Quick and easy process. Yeah, you always tell me in photos, oh, clean up your hoses that before you take a picture because it looks ugly and you were gonna paint with the dirty ass strut. Is to be a tiny bit OCD. So now that the calipers are officially masked up and clean, and what I'm gonna finally do is I'm gonna add a little bit of rubbing alcohol if my idol Fonzie's watching this, hopefully that you don't cringe. It's Fonzie with dipyourcar.com. I don't know how you're gonna feel about me rubbing alcohol on it. We usually do it at the body shop just to take off any grease that's left over, any oils. So we're about to start our first coat. I had my lovely assistant make sure they were all shaking up. You wanna be five, six inches away with a nice clean sweeping motion. That's gonna help you get that even texture at the end of the day. 
So this is pretty much what it looks like after the first coat. I made sure to get all the way around. Oh wow. Harnessing the power of Fonzie from DipYourCar.com. Fonzie from DipYourCar.com. This is the rear brakes after first coat. We might have to pull out some lights because it's getting a little bit more difficult to see. As my sensei Fonzie from DipYourCar.com would say, It's very important that your first layer is a light dusting. You could pretty much still see the Brembo. You can still see a little bit of the black coming through. First coat, you just always have to go light. So this is first coat on all four wheels already. Every time I finish this one, by the time I get back around, it's already 20 minutes, so I could just keep going in rotation. That's the whole reason I wanted to take off all four wheels, so I could pretty much do that and we could finish quicker. So with bottle number one, we managed to accomplish two coats and then a little bit extra for the third coat. We're currently on the third coat. Time to start on bottle number two. And now we're moving on to bottle number two. So I just finished my sixth coat with bottle number two. As you can tell, the Brembo decal it had is no longer there. It just looks completely white. It's looking really nice. To do this right, the thicker the coating is, that's why I did six of the white, and I'm about to add two of uh, Glossifier, is so when it comes time to actually peel this off, this is from my sensei, Fonzie himself. All right, we've got about four coats on. The thicker the coat is, the easier it's gonna be when you peel it off. Glossifier bottle number one. As you guys can tell, now it's not a satin finish, It's a nice shiny finish. After 30 minutes of letting it fully dry and now that it's dry to the touch, but well, let's unwrap this. So the car is done. We finished a little late. So I'm gonna have to pick up this video tomorrow. And I'm about to close it out. Plus the car is absolutely dirty. So we'll see the finished result tomorrow. See you guys then. So this is the finished results. That's the front brake. The rear brake. We actually drove it last night to the gas station, huh? Mm -hmm. And it's still not dirty. What do you think of it? It looked really good. The wipes matches pretty much everything. I know people don't get it because it can get dirty pretty fast, but you get your car detailed by your brother, so it's not a problem. There she is, say hi. I didn't get to see you in action. But she's looking good today. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys on the next one.